Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you all the working glitches including the duplication glitches for the patch 1.12.2. So the old glitches that everyone loved are now patched so the community has to come up with some new glitches. Now some of these glitches can be done in solo and some would require a co-op partner. So let's start with the first trick that basically lets you craft any throwables or consumables for free. Now for this trick to work you will firstly need to put the item you want to duplicate in your inventory. So let's say I want to duplicate the UV bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one stack of UV bar which is in total 99 UV bars. Once done, fill up every other slot with any item you have. You just have to make sure there is no space left for the new item to appear. Once everything is ready, it should look something like this. Now inside your inventory, select the UV bar and drop 2 UV bars, not more than 2 UV bars. Once dropped, do not close your inventory, instead move to the crafting parts where you have all the other blueprints. Now inside the blueprints, look for the UV bar blueprint and craft it. Also just for your information, note down the crafting parts you have, like I have 3775 scraps with me, which basically means if I craft the UV bar then I will lose 20 scraps. But once you craft it and close your inventory, you will actually see two stacks of UV bar on the ground. And fun fact, your inventory is still full, meaning you never dropped your UV bar. In fact, you can go and check inside the blueprints again. What you will see is that you still have the same amount of scraps with you. So what you just did is you just duplicated two UV bars and crafted two more UV bars all for free. Now my friends, this is not the limit, you can actually craft more than this. Just repeat the same process with your favorite item. So from the 99 stack of UV bar, drop 2 UV bar on the ground and then go to the crafting and craft the UV bars. After that, go back to your inventory again without closing the menu. Just simply navigate from the top options, move to your inventory and drop 2 more UV bars, then go back to the crafting and craft 2 more UV bars. Keep repeating this without closing your inventory and once you feel like you have got enough of it, just exit the inventory and enjoy free stacks of UV bar or any of your favorite item. Now I've tested this with every consumables and throwables, it works all the time so have fun getting free stuff and this will be super useful for people who are still beating the game or just want to stack up for the future so guys have fun and yeah shout out to jkm for teaching me how to do this glitch his channel link will be in the description so make sure to watch his channel now let's look at the second trick so this trick might make you go crazy because it's very random and requires a core partner but my friends, at the end of the day, you can surely make a lot of duplicates of any weapon and also sell it for good cash. So if you have a lot of cash like me, you can actually later utilize it in the third trick. Now to make this trick work, you will actually require a few items. Firstly, make sure to have at least one DLC weapon with you. It can be anything, a paid DLC weapon or a free one from the Ronin or the Peacekeeper pack. By the way, it's also known as the authority pack, so remember that. Now just keep one DLC weapon in your inventory and then fill your inventory with any item you want to duplicate. Also make sure that your inventory should have at least a minimum of 10 weapons. If you get less than 10 weapons, then it will not work. 10 weapons is like the sweet spot for this trick. Now make sure to empty all the 4 weapon slots and then in the 3rd slot put the DLC weapon. In my case, I'm putting the Dying Life Bat in the 3rd slot. So once you have everything set up, it should look something like this. Now once done, go back to your accessories and there you will need a stack of mine, sharpnel mine, throwing knives and a UV bar. Make sure you have at least 99 stack of each. And yeah, at the end it should look something like this and try to put this thing in the order. After that, make sure you have at least in total 9 items out of 16 in your accessories. This step is mandatory. So once you have made sure that you have only 9 items, then you can begin this trick. Firstly, come to this location near the VNC tower on top of the crane with the mushroom easter egg. Now invite your co-op partner and tell him to stand and wait. After this, all you need to do is enter your inventory and drop two of each accessories from the equipped slots. Just like how I am doing it. Once done, exit out of your inventory and start the easter egg challenge. As soon as it starts, you should try coming back to the crane again while flying on the broom. Then once you're near, make sure to pick any other slot than the flying broom so you can easily get off the broom. Now once you've landed properly, just go and grab those dropped items on the ground. As soon as you pick all of them, you will see that a random weapon from your inventory suddenly appeared in your hand. Now all you have to do is drop this weapon on the ground and on PC it's basically backspace and on consoles I'm not sure but you can check the key binding. Also don't worry if you're not able to drop the weapon, you can just throw the weapon on the ground. Once you've got sufficient amount of duplicates, you can actually cancel the challenge and then start picking up all the duplicates weapons. In fact, even your friend can grab the weapons and it's all free my friends. Now let's say for some reason while doing the glitch no weapon showed up in your inventory and well in that case what you can do is you can try the glitch again but this time empty your inventory dropping all the weapons on the ground and then pick it up again and proceed with the glitch. You can also try changing the weapon in the third slot it's a bit annoying at first I know but at the end you will actually get quite used to it. 
Now I'm sure you guys won't be storing all of that weapon with you and you most likely will be selling a lot of them. So what are you exactly gonna do with all that money? Well that's why the third glitch is very important. In this glitch all you need to do is sleep until the night begins and once the night begins it should say 19 hours in military time. Now just wait or roam around until it's about to be 24 hours in military time. So before the timer goes to 24 hours just go to your favorite craft master or the trader for crafting materials. As soon as it says 24 hours which basically shows you as 0000, you need to open the craft master menu and then head to the crafting resources and keep buying the crafting materials forever. The craft master will never run out of resources so yeah you can stack the crafting pass using the simple trick that still works since the release of Dying Light 2. Now this is all the working duplication glitches and let me know in the comments if you have found a better way or have a better alternative of this glitch. And yeah I'm gonna see you guys in the next video till then stay safe and stay human. Thank <laughs> you.